All right, Grace, thank you. Today, students gathered at McFarland High School for a youth summit on how to stand up against hate in their schools. They were joined by guest speakers discussing their own experiences with hate. Chloe Morrissey has you covered on the conversations they had. Nearly 400 students attended a youth summit organized by We Are Many United Against Hate, discussing ways to create more inclusive communities in their schools and the ways in which they are able to stand up against hate. Students got to see firsthand what it means to be the change, hearing from two speakers who made drastic changes in their own lives in order to fight hate. Chris Buckley was once a national leader of the KKK, but is now a board member for the Many United group. He spends his time having hard conversations with students, teaching them how they too can spark change. We have an obligation and a responsibility to, to undo what we've been a part of. It's surreal because they're also the, the same young people that I used to prey upon when I was recruiting kids into the movement. Chris was joined by Richard McKinney, who went through a significant transformation of his own. I come from a place of hatred to the point to where I actually wanted to eradicate the world of Islam and all Muslims. I had planned and built a bomb to, to do just that, learning the errors in my way and the ignorance that I was basically basing my prejudice on. Once I learned that, I actually became a Muslim. Both Chris and Richard understand the extent of the hate they once had and want to help create a world that is more understanding and accepting of everyone. Students also see the hate that exists in the world and by participating in events like these, want to push their peers to do better too. We're the next generation, so if we don't make a difference, who's going to? In Madison, Chloe Morrissey, 27 News.